Hello guys, you're welcome back. Uh, my name is Jonathan, a 2022 2023 Chevening Scholar studying Cyber Security at Cardiff University. And uh, I'm talking about how you can tackle the leadership uh, essay. So, the leadership essay, the prompt is Chevening, something around Chevening is looking for leaders and influencers in their own country. Uh, identify how you have been able to lead people or influence people's decisions, something around that line. So, the first thing that you want to do to tackle that question is to do some introspection obviously you need to do some introspection in all your essays so you need to look at instances where you have been able to uh, communicate to people to lead people and note that leading people does not necessarily mean occupying a leadership position so you could occupy a leadership position and not lead people and you could also lead people without occupying a leadership position so don't mistake it for each other but if you are occupying a leadership position and you have actually led people, then you can uh, obviously state that uh, in your essays. What I mean by leading people is like you have been able to, you know, organize something, uh, impact uh, people's life, or bring bring up an initiative, an idea, or done something that have been impactful. So it doesn't have to be any grandiose uh, story or experience. You know, it can be even if it's two people, you have been able to impact their life and they are able to get results from it. Or if it's three people, it doesn't have to be something like maybe an, maybe start an NGO. See, I don't have an NGO. I just volunteer with a popular NGO, with, a, with an NGO as, as a volunteer. I'm not, I'm, I'm not getting paid. And I got the Chevening Scholarship. So it's not, uh, although I have some other works too, uh, uh, that I do uh, work on. So it doesn't have to be something big. Funding, because I, there's a lot of misconception like uh, maybe you have to have an NGO or you have to found an initiative. Or you have to be doing this and you're doing that. As long as in your field you are making an impact, you are uh, leading people, you are organizing initiatives that can influence people's opinion or change people's opinion about something. So you have to think about okay, when have you uh, led people, when have you impacted people positively in, in any instance, whether maybe it was when you uh, something happened and you were called upon to, to take charge or, or you had to raise funds for something or you saw that there's a uh, there's a there's a something that is not good even way even if it's where you're working and it's, uh, maybe you saw that for example now let's for example where, maybe where you're working and you saw that there, there are not a lot of waste paper baskets to and it's, and there are people just when they eat snacks they just throw their uh, snack wrapper on the ground and litters everywhere so uh, some, some, something as simple like that maybe you now uh, told your MD or some, or you took the initiative to ask, ask your co-workers to contribute certain amount of money to buy a waste paper basket to put in strategic locations or you, you are not a brother of that initiative that is very very that's a very good example so now the framework you want to use is using the star approach always use the star approach which is the S S is the situation T is the tax A is the action and the R is the result. You can also add a L, which is the lessons learned. So the situation is what was the current situation. Now going back to that previous example, you can say oh, the current situation is uh, the office is always dirty. People when people eat, they throw their snacks wrapper on the ground, which causes uh, dirtiness and can also uh, can also invite germs, which can be harmful to people's health. That is the situation. Now T, because we're using the start, T is the tax. What are you required to do so you are required to like what you wanted to do was to find a way to curb that that is the tax you find found a way to curb uh, that to so that people will stop throwing their uh, snacks wrapper on the ground and it will make the place tidy and more hygienic and more conducive for people to work in now that is the tax so a is the action what did you do so you rallied up your colleagues to contribute certain amount of money to buy Waste paper baskets. You reached out, so you have to now go into details. You reached out. You went to each of your colleagues. You called them on the phone, or you message them, or you talk to them one on one. Okay, this is contribute so so amount of money because this is this and this is that, uh, so that we can contribute. You can buy waste paper baskets to put in the office. So that is the tax. That is what you need. Then the result. So you can say, okay, maybe after buying the waste paper basket and putting, you bought. You can see you bought uh, like five waste paper baskets to put in strategic locations in the office. And two weeks later, it reduced. There were no death wrapper on the ground. It reduced the amount of death of death wrapper. So you have to like, you know. So that's like a brief example. So you have to like use 
Uh, so that's like the uh, result. Then to add in L, which is lessons learned, you can say something around the lines of maybe this experience taught you how to manage people because some people uh, were not forthcoming with contributing funds and you have to encourage them, you have to make them see the point. So you have it develop your inter interpersonal skills. So that is like lessons that you learned and, uh, and, and all of that. So that's like using the star approach for that. Just brief example, I just, uh, I just uh, gave you. So for your leadership, you want to give, make sure you have like two to three examples that you want to give. Giving one is very, very little. And uh, it's also good to make sure that the examples you are giving uh, within the same line of so like all your essays like there be a central theme so if you are talking about health you know maybe your leadership example can also be something you have done in the health sector your networking example also can be something you have done in the health sector your study in UK of course definitely you want to go and study more about health and your career plan is something that you want to do in health when you return so that's like the general theme health you know you don't talk about uh, you don't talk about maybe farming in your leadership and in one essay, in one in your networking, you now talk about health, it's scattered as like so. You have to have a central theme for your entire essay so that it's like chronological. You know, once you once someone reads the uh, leadership essay and they reads the networking essay, they can be able to join the dots because it's like maybe chronological, can, they can be able to join the dots or see similar things that were in the leadership that were also in the and they're talking, I say, so you want to have a general team. And going back to what I said, I have like two to three examples. So use this framework when you're writing your leadership example. The first paragraph should be your introductory paragraph. And what do you do in your introductory paragraph? You explain, you don't, you don't define, please don't define what leadership is. Try to explain what leadership, you know, there's a difference between define and explain. Try to explain what leadership means to you personally. So in my essay, I was like, leadership to me means uh, being able to impact people's life around me and uh, being able to, so something around around those lines, being able to impact people's lives and I've been able to do that in certain uh, different circumstances and that was what makes me believe that I'm a leader. So something like that, they're yeah, explaining what leadership, you don't say, oh, according to, don't quote people, don't quote people as according to Nelson Mandela, leadership is blah, 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 no, don't do that. State what leadership means to you, it doesn't have to be one grandiose explanation. That's, that's something simple, straightforward. Maybe one line, two line, three line max for your introduction, for your introductory paragraph. Then from there, the first paragraph, you will talk about your first example, where you, you also use the star approach, the situation, the tax, uh, the action, uh, the result, and then you, L is just lessons. If you don't have any lessons to learn, uh, you, you can leave it out. But the main thing is S T A R, the star approach. So the first paragraph, you use the style approach for it. Then the second paragraph is your second example. You just start there, you don't have to give any preamble, like uh, you just go straight, you know, when like, and uh, go straight to the point. Start using the style approach also for the second paragraph. Each of the, each of the paragraph you use the style approach. So if you are giving three examples, you are going to, so the first paragraph will be the first example. Second paragraph will be this. Uh, no, sorry, the first paragraph will be your introduction. Second paragraph will be your first example. Third paragraph will be your second example. So if you have three examples, I gave three examples in my own uh, leadership uh, leadership network. So the fourth paragraph will be your third example. So this each of these examples will have will carry the star approach, and each of them can just be maybe three to five lines because you have five hundred words. But the first time when you are writing it, you know, write let it flow. The first time, if your first draft would always be a lot. So write, let it flow, let you know, especially when you're writing an example, let it flow. You don't have to constrain your words to word limits. So this is when you have not written your essay, when you have not written it, yeah, you can now, okay, maybe you use some unnecessary lines or unnecessary details and you have to cut it down. But when you're first writing your essays, make sure that you write, just let it flow. Don't consider word limits or, or anything, just let it flow from your mind. You use the style approach for your third example, then your last, uh, paragraph should be your conclusion which you should make sure to talk about what you will learn uh, leadership traits that you will learn being a chairman scholar related to chairman so you can see uh, as a chairman scholar uh, we will seize the opportunities to develop global leadership skills and all of that <laughs> you don't have to use what i said please try to just just link it to chairman how chairman will help you to develop uh, 
your leadership skills or how you use the opportunity Chevy will give you to meet with more leaders and all of that. So just use that last paragraph as a concluding paragraph. So in all, you have your introductory paragraph, then your three paragraphs uh, for your three examples, which that makes it four paragraph. Then your last paragraph, which is the conclusion uh, paragraph. So that is the framework that you should use for your uh, leadership essay. Then one thing to note is that try to make it real, like make it realistic and believable by using statistics, using names of people. For example, now in the example I gave about buying uh, buying a waste paper basket for your office, use names. You maybe you work at so 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 so, which your office is located so so so. You talk, when you are talking about how you are able to convince your colleagues to raise money, maybe somebody raised more money. You can say uh, uh, somebody faith faith was even uh, raised more money than other people, and which you, you encourage other people to also raise more money. Like use names of people, names of details, names of location, what you did, so that it makes it more believable. Because if you just say, oh, I work at this things and I've noticed this and this. It's just like an abstract story. It, so the reader, reading community might not be able to relate to it. You can just, you can pass off like a fictitious, fictitious story that like something just came up from your head. But when you use names of people, uh, percentage or statistics or numbers of people, uh, numbers, it makes it more real. It makes it more believable. So those are that is very very important. And I believe if you follow these steps, uh, you won't have anything to worry about. Make, then again. You're, you don't. It doesn't have to be grandiose examples. It can be something as simple. I think I had there was some someone that maybe when her mother was sick, she tried to reach out to family members to raise money to to, to contribute money to uh, to for hospital bills for her mother. That's a leadership example. But it must be something that you did, and it's something that you an initiative of yours. If you have a platform, fine. If you don't have a platform, it's okay. Look for other examples that you have been able to. Do something. Maybe you talk to somebody that did something or something that impacts people. But just make sure that it's the examples are something that impacts people's life or that changes people's opinion about something. So that's with, going with this framework. I believe you will not have any problem about your leadership uh, example. All right. I believe you have been able to uh, learn the framework that works. Uh, a lot of scholars have used this framework. I used it. It's what I used. Your introduction, your three examples, each paragraph using the STAR approach and then your conclusion. Once you follow these frameworks, you will not have any problem. All right, I'll see you uh, next time. Thank you.